Your next competitor in the Legend Tour is Adriana Sugar Dulce. Sugar is a strong all-round competitor. If she can keep her cool on the course, she'll be very tough to beat. Good luck in today's matchup. Ooh, split the fairway. Right down the middle. Gotta be happy with this one. Please welcome to the tee, Adriana Sugar Dolce. This is going to be short. And it nicely for the green. Look at this ball roll. This for a half. Nice stroke. This short par five requires some real island hopping. The goal here is to hit the green in three, so play the hole conservatively to avoid the long stretches of sand and water that line the island fairways. Strong winds can also be a real factor. At Paradise Cove, par is a good score. I think it's a seven hour. We're in the bunker, I'm afraid. David? Okay, we're about 220 yards away here, Gary. It's going left, but it should be on the green. That'll work. Should be in good shape after this. 
From this distance, anything can happen. Unlucky there. This one will have the hole. Ah, that's too bad. Nothing fancy about this par three. A straight tee shot will hit the green, and backspin will keep the ball from rolling off the slope and into the water. This is right on target. Very nicely done. Man, that was good. This putt will have to hold. That one drops in the hole. Depending on the wind direction and the player's gumption, this par four can either greatly reward or severely punish risk takers. The isolated green makes for interesting approach shots and putts can also be a challenge. I'd rather not say where I think this ball is going. Time for the sand wedge. This should play well from here. We just witnessed a truly remarkable shot. This could be close. This one for a half. Rolls in the birdie putt. Dog leg par four, where reaching the green in two is easy. Staying on the green can be a different story. Approach shots should play a bit short to avoid flying the green or rolling off it and into the nearby water. This should play nicely.
That is not the right direction. Ooh, that's too bad. I'll tell you, there's no flies on that. What a shot. She could have done more with the first putt, but it's still a par. A terrific par save. Even the slightest air and tea drive can turn this beautiful par 5 into a real nightmare, especially in windy conditions. Straight tee shots can set up a possible green in two, but watch your approach. The green is small, slightly sloped, and lined with a couple of nasty bunkers on either side. sand after this. Caddy, give me the sand wedge, please. Come on! That was a little weak, don't you think? Well, she hit it in here, and now she'll have to deal with it. Looks like it'll wind up on the right side of the green. Ooh, an absolutely perfect shot. Something you're completely unfamiliar with, McCord. Oh, I can't get any closer than that. She's got the par. That's a great up and down for par. The right club is key to this par three. Short tee shots end up with a lot of green to cover for birdie. Long tee shots need plenty of backspin to keep it on the green. Should be making a safe landing on the green. That'll do it. here. It usually does. Putting for the match. That's frustrating. This putt to have the hole. Got the pot.
A challenging par four that allows even conservative players to easily reach the green in two. However, approach shots can be tricky due to the small green and surrounding sand. Add a crosswind and par becomes something to celebrate. She hit this down the middle. Looks like the next shot will be from the roughage. Well, again, this is a nice lie. If you happen to be a sheep. Later that same evening. Looks playable from here. shot. And this will end up in the putting surface. Golf can be such a frustrating sport. Bogey there. Eh, it's not going to get it done. This one's for the match. You're pretty good at this video game thing. Now you're at champion level. But can you do this? <laughs> 